this is the new swivel seat we've just got and we're now going to fit it into the passenger and then we've also got one for the driver's side so we're going to fit that after so wish us luck we may have a problem captain so we had a slight panic in that Mel was looking at how to fit the seat and as you can see here on the new Ford Transits this plate came far further down like this watch allow me to demonstrate I didn't know that these seats went up and down and this seat was down here so I was worried that once we fit the swivel plate how is this going to turn with that down the side like this yeah and then Becca said to me oh I think you need to raise the seat like this so it clears the main frame so now you can see that this plastic panel which has also got a metal piece behind it a clears bath. the base yeah, yeah. <laughs> lucky Becky said that because I was about to get my angle grinder out and he was giving me the worries thinking that we'd have to hack this seat apart and I was like ah let's raise it up and see so whew, crisis averted so if you guys have got a similar seat don't panic just lift the seat up gonna get this out now hey <laughs> well that's the last bolt out it's only four bolts really simple now we have got some wires underneath the van um i'm not sure if i need to disconnect the battery or not before i disconnect those airbag wires from the seat might be a good idea too. Nice big space for my diesel heater to go into, so I'm going to be super chuffed with popping that in there. And then we're going to get this guy out, and then we're going to start on this one. But this one's a little bit more complicated because of the handbrake. Tip that over and have a look. See what these plugs are like. Whether there's one big plug or whether it's a multiple plug. I think it should be one big plug. Just pull it off of there. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so we've got one plug, all these little plug sockets, these and then one big one on the other side of this but this is held on with a little looks like six mil it's a little six mil cover unless that whole thing will slide off so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna lift the seat up i'll lift it because we've got still i don't want to disconnect the seat belt no. so i just lift it i'm gonna lift it and then you're gonna slide that plate under there and on top of here the red angle facing forward Make sure the cable is clear, we're all right. So I'll lift it, you slide it under, switch it on one. See, keep going, keep going, keep going. That'll be fine, yeah. around about there, I think. Yeah. Um, where's the box to come with it? In the nice dandy tub that I love. <laughs> it was great. It right, so these the ones, tub. I assume, are for the bottom. Let's just check. So these are the bolts we took out. Yeah. Are they the bolts we took out? Yeah. Yeah. So what we do, we put the thread to thread like that, make sure it all lines up. See how it lines ah, up? Ah, clever. You see that? And this is how you check if you've got the right size bolts. You can see the thread fits inside the thread, so you know it's the right bolt. <laughs> clever. Another handy tip from Mel. See, I know stuff. He knows stuff. Right, so we need to twist the plates. Apart. Yeah, because we can't get the bolt through, which is what I was worried about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rest them on top of here like this. Right. Right, so that plate is now resting on the pins that are supposed to line this up. Right. So if I push the handle, I should be able to push that plate That's like that. Rotate it, yeah. Now I'm going to lift the plate, move it back. Yeah. <laughs> above the holes. And then the screws have got the cock. Teamwork. I'm only doing these up a couple of turns. All right, just to keep the pin in. Yeah, just to line them all up first. Make sure all four yeah, go okay. in. Yeah. So these are the screws I've just put in. They're tapered. You can see 
they're nice and tapered so they when these are done up they go nice and flush with this plate allowing this plate to smoothly slide over the top yeah. so that's it we've just got to do these four up so i've done all four just pinched them up so they're just pinched tight and now i'm going to do them up proper tight So that's all the four bottom ones to the base done. And they're the difficult part, <laughs> lining up the actual chair. So now we're going to flip this up. Okay. We're going to leave this crooked, Okay. the base. So we're going to line it. Because we need to get to those bolts underneath. Yeah, so we're going to we'll line do this the one first, with the top plate. This one, yeah. and then we'll have to swivel it a bit more to do the other okay. corner. So going chair. corner to corner, basically. Okay, great. Right. I'll try and do this without getting the chair dirty. Reconnect the cables. <laughs> Yes. Good job for that. <laughs> so the cable, this main cable has now got to go up through the middle of the seat. <laughs> it only just fits. So they've all got to go that side of that bar. Do you want to attach it back onto the bracket first? Yeah, I suppose that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good thinking. These aren't designed to come apart, so what you've got to do is this little tab on the side, push it over and then lever it up like that. And then they come out really easy. Don't try pulling them and before we remove these Rebecca took a photo so we know where they go to go back in Okay, so I did it right. Not done. Right. Good job, took that photo. Right, so. Uh, so that this is how we're going to be doing it. Purple and blue one. Can I see? See the photo. Oh, this is the video. Sorry. Uh, I think they went in them two there. Yeah. Right, so now okay. I'll tip this over. Be careful. Again, once I've got all four bolts in place. I didn't do them all up nice and tight. Now these bolts that they supply in the kit are only mild steel, they're not high tensile bolts like the original ones. So I'm uh, not really happy about that. Push the little lever, pull it forward, and uh, there it goes. Woohoo! The thing is though, look, it doesn't lock in place. Oh, it carries on going over. Yeah, that's a bit. Lame, isn't it? There's no locking mechanism. Ah, so it should lock when it goes to there. Well, ideally, yeah. Yeah. It means it doesn't lock in place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a bit shit then. I'm not really happy with that. Really? So uh, what? Stops She's not happy it? about that. <laughs> really? So uh, what? Stops She's not happy it? about that. <laughs> so they swivel, nice and easy. But they swivel too much. <laughs> Yeah, they don't lock in place by the looks of it. There's nothing to actually, once they're once that, they're that way around, there's nothing to actually... So that pit, that red handle there... No, it doesn't do anything when it's there. And, uh, yeah, you can swivel. Do you feel safe on it? Yeah, I feel all right. I guess in some ways it means when you're working there, you can adjust how your angle is yeah, you can to the table. Well, if you've got something there, you can swivel out. That's not in. too bad then. So if you had a table here, you could like swivel. And you're not going to be off on an angle. And then sit down and swivel back. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's done. Next one. You've got to move it. Forwards. Ah, uh, okay. This one. And it should lock back in place. Yeah. There we go, one swivel seat fitted. So to fit the swivel seat on the driver's side, you need to cut this plastic. Also, you need to lower the handbrake. And to lower the handbrake, you need to cut the bolts on the inside and drill them out. Especially as it's a brand spanking new van. And it might invalidate the warranty if we start cutting handbrakes off. <laughs> so the swivel seat to the driver's side is going back.